Hey everyone, today's story is called Prince and Knight. It was this moment during the morning announcement at Marshall Elementary School in Woodbridge last Friday sparking controversy. And as they gazed into each other's eyes, their hearts began to race. The school librarian reading to the students a children's book about a prince falling in love with a knight after defeating a dragon. And on the two men's wedding day, the air filled with cheer and laughter. But some parents, including Janelle Anderson, whose fifth grade child attends the school, say it was inappropriate. I thought that was a very controversial choice to read at an elementary school level and not give parents the option to opt out or even give parents an advance warning. Some sexual issues should be dealt with at home, especially because gay marriage can be a matter of a person's religion. In this letter sent to parents Monday by the principal, the school read the book in recognition of the district proclaiming June as Pride Month. Anderson calls Pride a so-called political movement, but tells WSA 9 she has nothing against gay marriage. But when I asked if it would be a different story if the characters were straight, she says, I don't really think that romance of any kind belongs in elementary school books. I cringe at the Snow White story. And then you wonder why the profession is bleeding educators. But many others are defending the librarian, including former Prince William County Schools teacher Rebecca Anderson. Reading a story with gay characters in it is for visibility during Pride Month, it just kind of makes sense. I really think it had nothing to do with sex. In the letter, the principal stresses the school values a welcoming environment for all students and stands by the librarian, saying, while individuals have a right to disagree with the material, intimidation of Marshall staff and insinuated threats against them will not be tolerated. She says books can be challenged and will be reviewed. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.